Hey everyone, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here. Um, I had some issues uploading the first video, but it wasn't because of here. Uh, YouTube's having a problem, which I read about after I had some issues. Um, but I think it's there and it's working, but I had to try a few times. And as you all know, trying is the first step to failure. I don't think the internet's too good here, so it's maybe it's choppy for you, but not too bad. It's free. Get what you pay for. Okay, second game I was losing for most of the game. I was playing um, 1800 rated Alexei Kazakevich, chess club regular in St. Louis. I've seen him a million times. I'm sure I've played him. I just don't remember playing him, but I think I've seen him too many times that I didn't play him. I know I've played him Blitz and Blitz tournaments. I don't remember playing him a slow game, but it's hard to believe that I haven't. It's possible. Okay, so... I decided to play my closed Benoni kind of nonsense, but he played knight f3. And in this position, I always play as boring as possible. Those are the lines that I know. And I always wanted to play this exciting variation where you sacrifice a pawn with e5 and d5. And I was like, all right, I guess I'll try it. And of course, after takes, I immediately made a mistake. <laughs> um, I mean, an obvious blunder is if knight takes, you, you lose your knight because of this trick, which, okay, I knew before you were born. Um, but everybody plays bishop c5 here. And actually, the knight's not defended on b5, so we have some tricks. But I played a6, which is just a mistake. And I didn't realize it until I analyzed my game with an engine at the chess club. It was sort of a suspicious engine. And... Um, I was like, wait a minute, am I supposed to not play a6 here? And it turns out I'm not. a6 is just a dumb move. Forcing the knight to a better square. So after this, I'm already worse. And I knew that e3 was the main move. But when he played g3, I didn't know why that was bad. And the reason is <laughs> that e3 is the main move after bishop c5 here. So, yeah, just mix up the move order because I never played this line. And I haven't looked at it in forever, so... Okay, so I mixed it up with h5, because that's what I do. Um, sort of the obvious move, bishop g5, is a blunder, because I take and play knight g4 check, and then I take the bishop. I actually showed this similar trick to a student yesterday in different position. Okay, so he played h4, which is okay. And we developed and castled, because we're so good. Um, I didn't see a good score for my queen. I didn't want my knight pinned. Um, so I thought b8 was okay. I defend my e-pawn. If I push my e-pawn, sometimes I threaten queen take g3. And my queen can go to a7. He can't attack my queen. So that queen b8's okay. And in this position, he played a very strange move, one I wouldn't consider. But I guess it's okay. He played queen e1. He wants to play e4, and his e-pawn's pinned. So there you go. So I played e4, sacrificing another pawn, because it makes it really tricky. And he should take it somehow. Um, maybe now, maybe take my knight first on f6, I'm not sure. But he played e3, he played bishop f4. Um, I mean, now he should take my e-pawn. Um, now, not, not previous move. I'm tired. Okay. So bishop f4 is fine. Now he should take on e4, but he played e3. So I made my first good move of the game. Um, bishop b4, pinning all of his knights. And he thought for a long time. And played queen b1, which is okay. And this position, I, I haven't looked with my engine here. I looked with the stupid engine. But my next move is bad, but it already it says I've had a bad game throughout. Now here I'm down a pawn and he has two bishops, but I have a lot of advantages also. His pawn structure is weird. I have a lot of squares. Um, his rooks are not good yet. Um, here I made a mistake. Um, I played bishop e2, and I knew that knight takes e4 was a good move for white, but I was just hoping he wouldn't play it. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I was hoping to play like bishop d3 next move and then continue by either winning the d-pawn or knight c5 or something. But he didn't let me play bishop d3. He took on e4, sacrificing the exchange for lots of pawns. And yeah, this is just terrible for black. Um, 
White has two bishops and two pawns for rook and a knight, so White's up material and has got past D pawn. Okay, I'm not sure if I agree with his moves, but I think they're good. D6 is good, threatening bishop takes B7, play knight D5, D7's okay, taking's okay. And here, he finally played moves the computer didn't like. The computer wants him to play rook D6. And the idea is he doesn't want to lose his d-pawn. If I play sort of the obvious queen takes c3, he can save his d-pawn. He's threatening my h-pawn. Um, bishop g5 is annoying. It's very hard to win his d-pawn now. So computer says white has a big advantage. Um, but he played queen d3, and now I can actually win his d-pawn. So then I'm okay. Then I'm not going to lose. Um, I wanted to play b5 originally to play rook a7, but I didn't see what to do after queen d4, which stops rook a7. Then my rook on a8 is sort of stupid. So I decided to play b6, that I could play rook a7 regardless. And he thought a long time and made a very bad move. Um, I think this should be a draw. I think this is equal, but he played queen d5. This ending is really bad for white because um, I'm going to win the d-pawn. So he decided to get the h-pawn. And his weak queenside pawns are really weak. His majority on the king side is irrelevant. He's not going to get a pass pawn anytime soon. And if he somehow defends his c and a pawns, I don't know how, I can double on the seventh. So this is probably lost, I'm thinking. Played c4 which I don't know if it's just bad or it doesn't matter. Um, I played f6, trapping his rook. Never play f6 unless I play it. And the idea is, at first I thought rook c8 just won his pawn. I was like, well, I attack his pawn, I take it. But he has rook d5. And then I, his rook gets really active. So I just played f6, stopping his rook from moving anywhere, basically. And he played the point of c4, which is c5, trading off his weak pawn, but I have his visions of g6, and he can't defend his pawn. Um, if he tries to get tricky with c6, taking his rook wins, but rook d1 check, and then take his rook. So he can't really get tricky here. He has to play rook h6. I take, and I have a pass c pawn, and I just push it. So the game ended pretty quickly. Um, he didn't defend well here, but he's already completely losing. He plays like rook h5, with the idea of rook c5, I can just play rook c8 and before he gets to play rook c5. So he traded rooks, which isn't good. He tried to run his king over, but it's nowhere to run. Um, he resigned. I guess the game would normally end here, 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 rook d1. I guess that would be the way the game went that I queen. So he resigned instead. So I was losing for a long time, or much worse, plus one, plus two for white, and then... He pushed his d-pawn, which was okay, but then he let me take it, and then he was much worse, um, and then he collapsed pretty quickly. But he was low on time at that point, so it was sort of lucky for me, but what the good player is always lucky, except when they're not. Um, so that was a, my toughest game by far, and I was worse a lot, but that happens. Sometimes you're worse in trust, and you got to deal with it. And um, some people don't deal with it well, but I've been losing since before all of you were born. I'm always losing a lot of games and have bad positions. Then you fight your way out. And um, I didn't really know what I did wrong that game. And then it just hit me after the game that a6 is just stupid. I'm not supposed to play a6. So I sacrifice a pawn in an opening I don't know very well. And then I misplay it. And I'm black. So if you sack a pawn and you're black and you don't know it and you misplay it, you can get a bad position, which I did. Okay, hopefully this recording turned out better than the last one. If it didn't, once again, this is still free content. But make sure you donate all of your money, and then I'll teach you. Next time you'll go to paid content, it'll be cheaper. Um, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Like and subscribe here on Facebook. Go to atlchessclub.com and look at our website. Go to atlchessclub.com slash donate and enter your wallets. And I'll see you guys next video. Maybe I'll make one more tonight. You never know. Bye, everyone.